Oh, what? It's another one. It's another June Freak. Now, the difference is this was made from scrap from a surfboard. I've got to be absolutely honest. All I've done is I have literally piped or copied the pug. Standard pug DLG res glider. And what I've done is, is I've covered it as an experiment in feather cover. And uh, at the moment, there is no reflex in the wing section. It is just that. So I'm going to give this a couple of bungs. A um, couple of mods I've done. The rudder is now held on with a boom. And uh, I've got proper wing bolts in. Ooh, we've even put a tow hook on. And uh, the C of G is at about 20% at the moment on this cord. So I'm just going to give it a couple of uh, chuck bungs first just to make sure it is going to work. And then we'll see how the pair of them get on. What could possibly go wrong? Well, I've got to be honest here, that was pretty remarkable. Um, I've got about that much up elevator at the moment, which I'm going to fly with like this, and then see if we can take this up elevator out with a change of uh, C of G. But uh, I was expecting that to bunt straight in the ground, because it's just a standard aerofoil, it's not even reflex. No reflex whatsoever, there's no reflex in the tips whatsoever. That's just a straight bit of foam. Um, so, um, also, I'm in the lee rotor here from literally the front of the sand dunes. So I'm gonna let's go and give it a go.
I can say is wow. Um, just a standard pug aerofoil, no reflex. That's the amount of up elevator I've got. It's hardly anything. You can see when I'm flying it, there's no tendencies of instability or bunting or anything like that. I can do loops with it. Um, it's absolutely superb. I'm absolutely over the moon with this. Uh, I think I'm going to call this one the Surf Dune Freak because this is made from a surfboard. Now, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. I've got some other versions of this come out and I am going to go big, and I mean big. At, um, but I'll see you very shortly and all the best from the North Devon Woolacombe Sand Dunes.